good morning. Well, actually, it's good afternoon, isn't it? It's 12 o'clock now. So, hello to you all. Um, I will be doing a interview today with one of my close friends in the business, Sally Evans, um, who is unbelievable. Um, she is a single mum. Um, who's been in our business uh, just a bit longer than I have, so probably about two years now. I'm sure she'll correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and she smashed the business. Um, she's amazing. She's one of the most genuine and caring people that I know. Bit of a nutter as well, which is probably why we get on quite well and definitely knows how to party. Um, so I'm just going to try and invite her on. I'm never very good at this, and it always takes me like 10 minutes um, but at least it will give people a chance to jump on. Um, so give me a hey if you're watching and where you're watching from. Also feel free to let me know if uh, you can hear me because my Wi-Fi at the moment is not loving me very much. I actually work from home. Um, I'm working from home today and the internet keeps cutting in and out, which is great. Not so much um, for me. But it's... Um, hey Dan! I think I've invited her. Add, add them to the camera. Bring Sally on. Right, I've added you, Dan. Uh, Sally, even. Got Danny on the brain. It said you declined. You're not supposed to decline. Just hey. I've got my on. Hello. Hello. Hey! But we're like grey jumper twins. Oh yeah, we are, aren't we? Woo woo! Can you hear me, yeah? Great minds think alike. Can you hear me? Yeah, all good. We good literally look like so cute. I haven't got the fluff though. I should have hair back, but it's all messy, so it's alright. It is. It gets longer every time I see you. I know, my hairdresser's like, Sal, this is a joke, you need to stop taking these capsules. <laughs> she literally was like, he's so thick. <laughs> I've got so much, he's ridiculous, to be honest, yeah. that I love it. <laughs> How you found your on extensions, though, eh? Never. It's all natural, <laughs> baby. Love it. The guys you can help us on a day. Huh? Yeah, it was unbelievable. I literally just, it's so hectic, but I did so much. Um, oh. I just fit everything in. I did like Cairns, I did Surface Paradise, Great Barrier Reef, went scuba diving, um, the Gold Coast, I went to Brisbane, which is like London, but hotter, which is amazing, wow. Sydney. It was just like a whirlwind, three weeks of in, insane, just greatness. But yeah, it was good. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm good to, happy to be back to start, like to get back on track and stuff though. It's nice yeah. when you come back sort of love your job so you don't feel as depressed when you're coming back so yeah of course i'm excited i've already booked, booked another holiday to croatia oh look uh, at you you don't bloody stop do you so jealous <laughs> i need a holiday booked off three or four to make sure i know like what i've got to look forward to and stuff and we've got obviously loads of wicked things coming up as well so really excited yeah this year is so exciting at the moment. So much is happening. No. Well, thank you for jumping on. That's I know you're quite busy. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to get you on um, to show people, I guess, how different you can be in this business. Because obviously me and you, we're very similar in so many ways. But um, our battery's low. Super prepared I am. But obviously in many ways we're different as well. Yeah. Mainly, obviously, you being a mum of two children and me not even being responsible enough to look after myself. Um, but yeah, so I just want to ask a, a few questions, starting with why did you start our business? So what was the reason for you taking on this? It was part time, wasn't it? Because originally yeah. you were working for myself, wasn't you? Yeah. Um, yeah. So basically two years ago, it's actually going to be my two years anniversary. Um, I think it was about the 24th, 26th, but thank God for um, Facebook time pop. I know exactly the date. I can't even remember. It's one of them. It'll come up at some point. Um, so I'm practically nearly two years into the business and um, mine was a little bit of a sad story at the start because I'd become a single mum and I think I just completely cracked myself to be honest um, I was working for Mercedes and I thought to myself how on earth am I, am I going to work around my job and my um, and, and like working like how am I going to have my kids 
work you know everything was going through my head and you know what my doorbell's going one second I mean two seconds um and I just sort of I panicked so much in what I was gonna do um oh, yeah. lovely well, thank you thank Danny my upline and obviously he spoke to me about the business and said to me you know this is an opportunity why don't you go for it um, and I was a little bit, you know, I wasn't sure. And I was thinking, oh, God, do I do it? Do I not? Anyway, cut a long story short, I started taking the berry capsules and I had such amazing results from my berry capsules and how I felt um, with my endometriosis and polycystic ovaries. And to be honest, how I felt of my health because I was also on depression tablets because I lost my mum. So not only was I a single mum, I lost my mum. And I was just literally not in a good way. So I put on Facebook, literally, like, I'm going to start this new business. I hadn't joined up, by the way, at this point. I literally just put on Facebook that I'd started. I was starting. I'm looking to start. Has anyone heard about it? Because to be honest, a couple of years ago when I started, it wasn't as big as now. Um Oh, my God, my Facebook went crazy. I'm no word for lie. The next day I went to Danny's house. We had a glass of champagne with our shake. And I literally, I went DD that day. I'd literally joined up. I woke up in the morning, I'd joined up, and I went DD that day. I literally hit my first promotion that day. And already that feeling in me was like, oh, my God, I can do this. Like I've had all my life a man telling me, like, I can't do this, I can't do that, you're not allowed this, you're not allowed that, da 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 and actually, for once, without me listening, even my dad, to be honest, said to me, oh, what are you getting involved in that for? Without me listening to a man, I decided to, like, just go for it. And I remember being around Danny's house, and Danny's crazy, as we all know, and it was like, ah, 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 and I'm like, ah, ah, yeah, and I think mean, it was. And she was like, I've been on the phone to head off. He's like, you don't understand how insane this is. And I was like, I'm still not quite sure, to be honest, because I'm one, I learn as you go. Like, even still now, Danny, my upline, will literally mess me going, right, Sal, da 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 and I'll just do it. Like, that's me. Like, I'm very much, I learn on the go. So it's not sometimes something I'm not really, like, do loads of research. I literally learn as I go. So I literally was like, yeah, amazing. She went, do you know how good this is? I was like, no. But anyway, I feel good. So within a few days, I hit my second promotion. <laughs> Danny was like, oh, my God, what's going on? And I suppose then for Danny as well, like, I'd come into her team and she off helping, you know, obviously her as well, but at the same time, completely changing my life. And I just remember within a couple of months, I couldn't quite work out whether it's my capsules that are making me feel insane or generally that the buzz that I've got a life back, that I can give my babies like what I want. So within a few months, I gave up um, my, I worked four days a week and say, I literally couldn't add the stress of getting my kids looked after anymore. It was either pay, what, £60 a day childcare, have the stress of all of that when I was only getting like £700 a month working then. I was working four days a week. Um, and I knew my dad, bless him, just didn't want the commitment of continuously sort of having my children. So I gave it up and it was a big thing to give up. And I suppose I was a little bit like, what if my business isn't going to work? But then that gave me more of a chance to think, do you know what? It will work. And ever since then, I've just gone from strength to strength. Obviously, I completely help so many of my customers daily. But not only that, I bring so many people into the business and the girls that are on my team, you know, are amazing and they do completely they're like me as well there's always a reason behind um something whether it's that they just want to get a, earn a bit extra cash whether it's that they're a mum whatever it being but personally for me I you know I have the time with you know my little Louie like he's a baby you know and yeah okay he's at nursery he's at nursery now but I feel kids should go to nursery. I am a believer that they do need that time because at the end of the day, I am a single mum and I have still got to work. Like, this is a business. It's not something that, you know, yeah, I can work from my phone. I can work from anywhere, but I still like to put timing into it. So if I'm constantly on this, I'm not giving my boy time. So like, he goes to nursery, I pick him up at one and then 
like Monday, for example, we went base jump. He tells me now what he wants us to do, and we go and do it. Now, I haven't got the stress of picking my son up. I haven't got the stress of keep picking my baby girl up. You know, they adore me, my children. They just love it so much. They love that their mummy is with them 24-7. I don't have to miss anything this year more than anything. My year's always been for my babies, don't get me wrong. But last year, it was... This might sound a bit selfish, but it was my year. And don't get me wrong, I'm a mummy and I love my babies, but last year I went out and had the best time of my life when I didn't have my kids. I partied hard. This year it's so different. And I know people have seen such a change in that with me as well. Because, yeah, don't get me wrong, I'm having fun, but my babies, talk about you, Lauren, going on holiday every month. I've literally got February booked. We've obviously got Liverpool. I'm taking them away for February for 10 days. We're going away in April. We're then going away June. And then I'm going away in August for them. So I've literally, every other month, I've booked a holiday for my babies. But I've done, I said this year, I was meant to take them abroad last year and I was too scared. Now I said this year, do you know what? What's scary? Like, what? All right, I'm in another country, but who cares? Like, I'm going to be all right. I'll meet people. And that is what my aim was this year. And the thing is, they will be in the pool. I will sit on the side and I will literally still work for my business. And that is the perks of of this you know it has changed my life in so many ways and I know people hear that a lot and I know people probably think oh yeah it's another gimmick you know but you only have to look at me you only have to look at my journey you only have to look at you only have to see where I was two years ago to where I am now and and if people actually sat there and looked at my journey and see where I've come every person can do it you don't have to be a single mum I'm not saying that but you literally, you know, if you are a mum and your husband's at home all the, um, sorry, at work all the time, and you think to yourself like, oh, you know, I'm just bored of things. Guys, like we meet in coffee shops. We sometimes go up London for the day. It's a matter of just jumping on the tube, spending a tenner and coming up. We do these little things. Why your kids are at school and nursery? You don't have to be bored. Like I've now just found out a few because I actually cancelled my gym membership. Um, because I actually weren't use, use, using it but then I was thinking oh I'm getting a bit bored so I've just found a few classes and got speaking to a few women so I'm meeting up with them you know like it's just things that we can do as mums that are people that see us you know see us growing and I hear so many people that say like I do get bored like it's lovely being a mum but I do get bored but then at the same time they're scared to push this isn't hard this you know I, I think some people as well look at mine and think, oh, it's all sales. So, so not. It's so not all sales. Trust me, it's just a business. It's just inspiring people. It's just, you know, showing people, you know, what we can change our life, how we can change our life. Um, our products do the sales for us, guys. You know, the insane results we have, even again, looking at the difference of me a couple of years ago, I never promote my products personally on myself that I lost weight because actually I didn't. I gained a bit of weight, but I gained in a healthy way. And then I think I gained a bit too much weight. So now, yeah, I've lost that. And now I'm feeling amazing. But that's what I could do with my products. I can go backwards and forwards with them how I want. Um, and I don't use all of them every day. I only use certain ones. But, um, yeah, so that was a bit how I started, really. Okay. And what is – I know you've touched on it before, so I can probably guess what one it is. But what is your favourite product and why? Um, my berry capsules and then I upgraded to premium capsules simply because – um, anyone that knows um, me or any – if you've done research, I have endometriosis and polycystic ovaries. Um, I was always told I would never – I'd always suffer. Um, it's life, I'm a woman, and I'd suffer. I weren't accepting that. I was 19 years of age, and I was not going to accept I'm going to always suffer. Like, why on earth should we suffer? So I had to go and pay three grand private, basically, to find out what on earth was wrong with me. Got diagnosed with this disease. Had four – literally had an operation after operation after operation. Got told, unless I start trying for a baby now, when I was 20 – Luckily, I was in a. I'd been with Will for like a couple of years. Um, I wouldn't have kids. I wanted children. I knew I wanted children. I didn't expect to have children that young, but I knew I wanted children. I had no choice. It took me over a year. I fell pregnant. I was 21, but I did fall. But I was on metformin, and they were going to start freezing my eggs. Oh, you know, there was so much involved in it. I was physically drained and ill over it. Um, I then was on these tablets for like a few weeks. 
and it was just horrible and so I started researching into things and obviously when Danny come in was telling me a bit about the products I was a bit like mm, yeah I don't know but I'm very much one like I don't know if the rest of you do I will go on the internet and I will research like anything you get good and bad so you will get going da, 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 juice plus this or da, 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 but then you'll get good and I'm one that unless I've done it myself I'm not going to judge so I'm not going to sit here and slag a, slag a product off if I don't know about it so I thought, do you know what, 20, at the time, I think it's like £22 a month, um, 22 £25 a month, these berry capsules, I'm just going to try. So I did try, and like I said, I was on depression tablets as well. Um, and I remember within about a month, I don't know whether it was the products, the business, what, I was just, felt amazing. So I went to the doctor and said, right, I'm coming off everything. And he was like you're mad like no you what what do you mean I said no listen just let me see obviously if in a couple of months time I feel rubbish I'll come back on but can we please I've never done a drug in my life like I don't know why I went quiet then but I've never I just about was drinking alcohol until I went single last year like so the thought of these drugs being inside me like I didn't want to do so I um I come off them and I literally stopped my depression tablets you shouldn't just do that by the way you should do it gradually but I did um, but they weren't that strong, so I was all right. And then I upgraded straight away to premium capsules. Um, so, yeah, I was investing in a bit more. It was cost me more. But then, to be honest, what you, I would think I was paying £7 something prescription fee or whatever it limit is now anyway. So it weren't making no difference, really, in price range. And literally, I have guys, I've been on this now, two, yeah, well, two years, just over two years. I've not had one operation I have a monthly period and I never even see a period to the stage is driving me mad every four weeks it ain't normal well for me it ain't because it's now the last year every three and four weeks I'm having a period um so now I'm like wow but the good thing my body's in cycle that means I'm not saying I'm gonna have more children but if I wanted to if I met you know I wanted more kids I know my body's in cycle and I know how amazing it makes me feel. Don't get me wrong, sometimes I still got the odd spot, but I used to be smothered here like it was awful. I used to get this hormonal where we are. And again, if you know about polycystic ovaries and endometriosis, that is it. Nowhere else. I never got anywhere else but there. And occasionally, I don't know if anyone, but in between, like here as well, very strange, but apparently they're all hormonal areas. Um, and literally, like, nothing. Every now and again, like I say, you can, you always tell Von Durong, so I will get that one little thing and it's annoying. So it, it, you know, it is like, mm -hmm. oh. But I just drink more water and I double up on my berry capsules. Not my whole premiums, but I double up on my actual berry capsules. I'm looking over there because that's where they sit. Um, and then for me, the products, obviously, I do do, when I want to lose weight, I do do my shakes, I do do my boosters, and I absolutely love the chocolate bars that we sell. Um, but to be honest, and I tell everyone this, I do it when I want to lose my weight. Where, at the minute, I am on plan, and I do only do one shake because I don't want to get silly. I don't need to lose too much weight, um, but I feel bloody amazing at the minute, honestly. And I just, I stand silly, but I stand in front of the mirror sometimes go, yeah, I'm loving it, I'm loving it. <laughs> Because it's stupid, but it's just how you feel. Like, I don't care what anyone says. When you feel good, and it's not all about losing weight, being skinny. It's about being healthy. And when you feel good, you know, when you look good, when you, that's it. Everyone else feels good. My little girl sometimes goes, oh, no, when you're having a bad day. Or, like, mum, stop being stupid. Because she, she knows. She can tell, like, with me if, like, I'm feeling a bit, oh, I'm due on. Or, do you know what I mean? We all feel like it as women. And, you know, I just, I can't stress enough how amazing these capsules are. If you're going to literally invest in something, the premium capsules are insane for everything. The hair, guys, listen, I actually had my hair cut. I'm going to pull it on Facebook later. I need to dig it out. And I did cut to there. I used to have long hair, I did cut to there. This was only, again, before I started the business, two and a half years ago. It came up my time hop the other day. And literally, look, in two and a half years, and I'm not even joking, let me take it down, but it's just so, it is so thick, my hair, it gets, I have my weekly visit at the hairdressers, and she said to me, Sal, this is getting ridiculous, can you stop taking these capsules, like, your hair's just growing, I've got hair underneath, you can see how short that is, she said, it ain't because it's ripped, because I go hairdressers every Friday, there's, there's no, without a doubt, I go hairdressers every single Friday and get my hair done, I don't do it myself, um, and that, honestly, are 
are my cattails. If I miss my berries one day, I get pains in my belly. It's not normal. So that is my amazing products. <laughs> Wicked. Um, well, thank you so much for jumping on and explaining a bit. Um, just one more question, I guess, to leave. Um, I go. I, you kind of touched on it as well, but because um, there's so many, I guess, materialistic things that you can get in this business. I know you bought a car recently, and obviously mm -hmm. you've been able to quit your job, and they are amazing things. But obviously, the most important part is the fact that you get time to spend with your children. Um, but what is it that you love most about this business? <laughs> Yeah, well, for me, again, um, being with somebody from the age of 18, I suppose drifted from my friends. Um, I didn't do nothing in my life. Um, sounds a bit sad, don't it? But it's the truth. And I suppose when you're in a better position, you can talk about it at the time. You think, oh, no, I've got loads of friends. Actually, to be honest, again, this is quite sad. But when I lost my mum, friends didn't want to hear it. And that's when I realised who my true friends were. Like, friends didn't want me to ring up every day crying, every day in the band. Then I split up from Will, and it was like, fucking hell, Sally's lost the plot. Do you know what I mean? Like, and literally, I realised who my friends were. But when I joined this business, I realised, actually, you can make such amazing friends. And the people, like, get me. Like, you, Lauren, like, you get me. I remember a few times you saying, I weren't sure when I first met you, like, through your Facebook. <laughs> and, like, it just shows you we do judge people by Facebook because then me and Lauren just clicked like that. And, like, we're the nutcases and we go away and don't sleep till five o'clock in the morning. And then we pop our pills the next day, capsules, magic beans, by the way. <laughs> um, and we have, like, we're all right. And that is the fun of it. Like, it doesn't matter where you are in this business. You could be at the bottom. I'm only halfway. No, I'm not even halfway. I'm just on halfway. Or you could be at the top. It doesn't matter. We're all taken together. You know, Danny's, like, we've become very, very good friends. I've got amazing girls on my team. And you genuinely click. Everyone sees, you know, the friendship in it. I get people saying to me, I've never seen such a good group of friends. Mm -hmm. We might not even see each other, like, one week to the next, but we're constantly on Facebook all the time speaking to each other. And that's the, you know, that's a highlight. We're all going, I've got an event on the 7th of February that I've got so many people coming to. Everyone's welcome, by the way. Um, anyone that's watching this is in Villa Ricky, so you can message Lauren or myself about it. Um, and then we go to Liverpool. And again, like all the girls have all booked our hotel. We're all going there for the weekend. We've got a lot of new girls coming as well, even myself. I've got a lot of new girls coming. And then we've got April. So not only I've got time, I'm going Liverpool. I come back two days later, I'm going in. I'm taking my babies away that I've just finished paying today. And then I'm going in April and I'm taking my babies away again. So not only have I met friends, I've got time. Like my babies, it's not everything I know this and it's not all materialistic stuff. But nine times out of ten, if they do say, oh, mummy, I want this, I will say at the time, no, you're not getting it right this minute. You prove to yourself for the week you can be good and I'll take your smiggles on Saturday. And that's it. So I'm not one of these mums that I will go out and just get it. I, I don't believe in that. I don't think it's right. Your kids need to learn right and wrong. Um so my little girl literally i will have i'm not joking my house will be cleaned everything in this house like she it's like she has little chores and then i can go out and get it you know most people skint in january i booked two holidays in january and that ain't me being all big headed here please don't even look at it like that that's me saying to you that how i was in such a bad way that through hard work and determination and just inspiring others and loving what i do I can do that for my babies and for myself because trust me, I need this holiday more than anything. Um, and, you know, um, even with my babies, like sleeping better and just going to bed, you know, don't get me wrong, I have some nights, half eight, nine, I do have a bit of my little girl, oh, why do I have to go to bed now? I do have a little bit of that. But me being more chilled because I used to be so stressed, me just thinking, right, you know, let's get home, let's sit down, let's have baths, let's do dinner, da, 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 let's do homework, let's have your time. Me just being me and not stressing about things. And all it is, I have my phone in my hand and I run a business from it. I don't do it. I bought a laptop. I'm not joking. I spent a couple of hundred quid and I've never used a thing. Like you don't need all these things. You need a phone. You need a phone and that is it. And the most important time thing for me, you know, is the time with my babies and is being able to give my babies, you know, 
what they want and what I want, not just what they want. Like I bought myself a BMW car, I bought myself a boot or shoes, I bought myself, you know, um, Louis Vuitton trainers. Again, yeah, that is materialistic stuff, but my bills are paid. So why does it matter? My savings are sa I'm saving. Do you know what I mean? Why, it, why can I not go and buy these things for us? And literally, you know, that has changed me in so many ways. <laughs> you are amazing. I'm Thank so you. Excited. You are amazing. Huh? <laughs> I'm going to see you so on the 7th, and then we've got the 10th. And we've got loads. Loads coming up. Yeah. I'm excited. But, um, Thank you. Thank you so much for coming on and sharing your story. I think it's always good to show people that literally anyone with a work ethic and a bit of, you know, determination can do this business, no matter what walks of life you're from, whether you work full time like me or, you know, whether you can, you want to quit your job like you to, to, to spend more time with your family. I think that's yeah. the beauty of this business. Anyone can do it. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. So thank you so much. I'm excited to see you soon. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, if anyone wants any more information, obviously, if you're on my profile from Sally's, drop one of us a message, whoever it is um, that you're watching from, and ask us questions. We don't buy it. We'll tell you all about what we do, whether it's for you or not. You know, it's worth asking about. Um, but other than that, I hope everyone has a good day. And Sal, love you. I'll see you soon. Love you too, babe. Bye.